Hello, everyone, and welcome to the closing ceremony of the Virtual Ride for Rehab. I'm Mike Zygamanis, former NHL hockey player and current radio host on 590 The Fan. I'm so proud to announce that with all your energy, we not only made it across Canada, which is over 8,000 kilometers, but collectively we went just over 10,000 kilometers, which would put us in the Pacific Ocean. Well done, everyone. Not only was our virtual ride a success, we have raised just over $200,000, which was our goal. Congratulations to all. This was topped up by Tommy Sobera and his parents, Joseph and Antoinette, who matched the funds raised by the UIC teams, and we can announce that we have hit $225,000. So even more to support the incredible work at Toronto Rehab Research and Patient Care. We could have not done it without your support and the support of our sponsors, BMO, Sentara Gold, Agnico Eagle, Borden Ladner Gervais, McLeish Orlando, and Brain Changes. Here to say a few words is Barbara Muir, who is not only a participant, board member to Toronto Rehab Institute and BMO executive, but also has her own experience with Toronto Rehab. Thank you for joining us today for our closing ceremony for the virtual ride for rehab. My name is Barbara Muir. I'm a very proud BMO employee where I serve as the Chief Legal Officer for Corporate Areas as part of the Legal Regulatory Compliance Group. And I'm also a very proud member of the Board of Directors of Toronto Rehab Foundation. I also a former patient of the Lindhurst Centre where they do amazing work. I'm grateful to all of you for having participated this past week. I hope you've had as much fun as I have crossing Canada. Together we did a phenomenal job raising funds for the incredible work of Toronto Rehab Institute. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for being there with us. And I thank you on behalf of both amazing organizations, BMO and Toronto Rehab, for doing good in our communities. You made it happen. I wish to thank our sponsors and also a special thank you to our class leaders from the Adelaide Club, Tam Nguyen, Stephanie McLeod, and the amazing Daryl Tracy. You know, I recall last year when we were in the main branch of First Canadian Place, BMO was a presenting sponsor. What amazing energy we had for that spin event. And I recall how many people stopped by to say, what is this? Where can I join? Well, we made it happen this year. We had to go virtual. COVID forced it. But what an amazing silver lining to have as a result of what is a really difficult time. So thank you to you for your participation for however you participated, whether you were skiing, swimming, in a wheelchair, walking, doing the treadmill, it's awesome. I hope you had a great time. We sure did. Thank you and see you next year. Thanks BMO and thank you Barbara and the rest of the Virtual Ride for Rehab committee members. Your commitment to this event and Toronto Rehab has been so encouraging. I'm extremely pleased to share that we had 217 registrants and 16 teams generating kilometers through various methods. Each day we held a class that allowed participants to generate 10 kilometers thanks to our very talented and passionate instructors. Here's a look at all those fun moments captured during the week. Putting your boots on for the virtual ride for rehab. It's day one. I'm getting my six kilometers in. It's day three. The doctor and I. Going for 10, again. Nancy, good girl. Okay, keep going, let's go. Thank you all for donating and for joining the team.
thank you in support of Toronto Rehab. We really appreciate it. I'm really proud to have been a part of this virtual ride for rehab. The top fundraising prize winners will be announced in an email. Stay tuned. Thank you to all you folks for making this such a success and see you all again next year. We plan to grow this event. Make sure to tell your friends.